Hey guys, it's Melanie. Today we are going to be doing a review of the Paula's Choice Peptide Booster. This is one of the last skincare items that I was trying to get in before the end of 2019. I actually have a couple more that um, I was not able to fit in, but we'll get to those reviews in January because yeah, it's almost January, which is crazy. So um, anyway, I had some time to go ahead and pre-record this for upload today. I believe this is actually going up on Christmas Day. So if you are watching on Christmas Day, Merry Christmas. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a booster that I have been using from Paula's Choice now for several months. And if you guys are familiar with my channel at all, you know that I've been using Paula's Choice skincare products for a number of years. In fact, when I first started getting into skincare in like my early mid 30s, one of the first higher end or more expensive skincare brands that I decided to try out was Paula's Choice. Um, I had always heard of Paula and her books, um, you know, don't go to the cosmetics counter without me. And um, I had actually a couple of friends who used some Paula's Choice products and seemed to really like the products. So I decided to go ahead and dive in with Paula's Choice and got some really great results um, actually pretty quickly from a lot of her products. And so I've always been very loyal to Paula's Choice since um, they have come out with a multitude of new products since I first started with the line. Some of my holy grails are still the BHA9, which is amazing if you deal with um, blackheads or just clogged pores in general. It's a 9% salicylic acid. It's amazing. Um, my beloved um, Paula's Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense SPF 30, that has been on my face almost every single day since I first tried it out several years ago. Um, it protects my face from the sun every single day and I love it. It's a wonderful mineral SPF. Um, also the niacinamide booster, uh, the 10% niacinamide, amazing. There, there are honestly just so many products from Paula's Choice that I think have such great formulations. Um, I love that Paula's Choice is cruelty free. They don't use fragrance in their skincare. The formulations are pretty straightforward. They, um, you know, they back all of their skincare with science and research, and um, they also have a really great blog, which you can find through their website, where they talk about different ingredients and you know how beneficial they actually are, how necessary they are. Um, the Paula's Choice Beautypedia reviews tons and tons of different products. I do think they probably have a slight bias towards their own brand of skincare, um, but it is good stuff, so I will give them that. But they, they do try other products from different brands and give you the pros, the cons, and maybe what you should look out for. Um, they talk a lot about, obviously, different skincare ingredients in the Beautypedia. So um, I highly encourage you to check it out um, if you've never moused around on there. Lots of really good information. So anyway, there's my Paula's Choice blurb for you. Uh, I think they're a great skincare line, bottom line. So um, today I'm going to be chatting about the Peptide Booster, which also has an amino acid complex in it. Um, what I love about these boosters is that um, they are fantastic for either just putting straight onto your skin, if your skin can handle it, or you incorporate these with a serum that you might already have or a moisturizer or maybe an overnight mask. Um, you can basically plop these into anything that you already have in your skincare collection or use them straight up. I tend to be someone who just uses these boosters straight up. Um, that's just my own personal preference, but you can certainly um, you know, add a drop or two into your existing products. So the peptide booster is this really nice texture where it absorbs very quickly into the skin. So you can see it's kind of a milky, 
slightly milky uh, colored liquid that very quickly absorbs into the skin. A little bit goes a long way with all of the boosters, but especially this one. That one drop did the back of both of my hands very easily. It absorbs quickly and you are left with just this nice silky smooth skin. Um, the finish is just, like I said, kind of smooth and silky feeling, not greasy, not oily, not occlusive or anything like that. So um, I'm actually gonna read you got to you guys from the Paula's Choice website um, about uh, a little bit about what peptides do for the skin. So um, I will, of course, also link this information down below so you can go look it up. I will also link the booster down below for you as well. Um, also, make sure you sign up for the Paula's Choice um, uh, emails. They always have really great sales. There really is no reason to pay full prices on their websites because the sales are very frequent, so especially this time of year. So peptides are short chains of amino acids that act as the building blocks of proteins such as collagen, elastin, and keratin. Um, these proteins are the foundations of your skin and are responsible for its texture, strength, and resilience. Um, the benefits are basically um, uh, peptides have anti-inflammatory uh, properties. Uh, antioxidants found in peptides can also help to calm and soothe your skin, leading to less inflammation. Um, they help to make the skin more firm by um, essentially signaling... Is there a dog trying to get in here? There might be a dog that may pop through that door back there. Yeah. Um, by signaling your skin's uh, cells to make more uh, collagen. So that is what helps to add to the firmness of your skin is when you are um, sort of poking at that collagen and trying to get it to uh, get back to work. So um, I have been using peptides from uh, different products um, over the last couple years. And I do think that there are some definite benefits to adding peptides into your skincare. There are peptides from um, slightly less expensive skincare brands. There are also peptides from more expensive skincare brands. There really is a huge range. I find that Paula's Choice kind of falls in the middle in terms of price point. Um, I think there is a lot of value for your money with Paula's Choice. Um, this is a 0.67 fluid ounce um, container, so it's just over half an ounce essentially, um, but again, a little bit goes a long way, and with it being a booster, you really are only meant to use one, maybe two drops of this. So this is gonna last you a really long time. Don't be afraid by the amount of product that you're getting here. Um, if you're using it appropriately, um, it's gonna last you quite a while. So again, you can use this straight up, which is typically what I do. So I will take those two drops and put them on my fingertips, put a little bit on my forehead, and then the rest of my face, and I just essentially rub in. Um, I will oftentimes use this in the morning because of the texture. It just goes in very quickly and easily into the skin. Um, it Peptides really do a wonderful job of nourishing your skin, of signaling that collagen production again, and helping to reduce things like the look of fine lines. Um, probably not really deep wrinkles to be totally honest, but if you are just starting to notice some fine lines around your eyes or around your mouth, or you know maybe you're lucky and you don't have deep wrinkles in your forehead, um, if you start using peptides, they're really gonna help to sort of get that collagen going again. And um, peptides work really well with a host of other different ingredients. So I don't, I can't think of anything that this would compete with or cancel out in any, any in any. Oh, geez, Louise. In terms of any other skincare ingredients, I feel like the peptides play really well with a lot of different ingredients. So. Um, 
Where you put this in your routine is really going to depend on the products that you use. Um, if you're using it just by itself, I would use it in the serum step of your routine, so probably near the beginning. If you're mixing it in with your moisturizer, it's going to go near the end of your routine um, after you've put on all of your serums and essences and toners and all of that stuff. Um, definitely, if you put on a facial oil, Put this on before the facial oil. I don't think that I would mix this with an oil to be totally honest. I think the heaviest thing that I would personally mix this with is a um, like a nighttime moisturizer, something like that. Um, but overall, I really like this product a lot. Um, I have also used a um, the Color Science Pep Up. This is their collagen renewal face and neck treatment. This is very expensive. This is a great product. I'm not going to lie. It is fantastic. Um, I love it. The thing is, I feel like if you are on a budget, you're probably better off with going something like the Paula's Choice Booster. Um, I think that you are going to get the same benefits as this and if you don't have the budget for this this is a good route to go for sure so for me i don't know that i will repurchase this one i think in terms of the efficacy this is going to give you very similar results and um, i do like that this is something that i can easily pop on my face morning and night this particular product from color science i do sort of reserve for nighttime because it's a thicker cream um, but yeah, if you've never incorporated peptides into your skincare and you are worried about loss of firmness, um, if you're starting to notice some wrinkles creeping up on you, this is a good thing to start incorporating maybe in your twenties and just continue it throughout your thirties and forties and fifties and beyond. And I think you're going to see some really great results over the long term. Don't ever start a skincare product thinking that within two, three weeks you're going to see drastic results. That is probably not going to happen. Um, again, I always say skincare is a long-term game, so just be in it for the long haul because if you are not willing to use products consistently, then no, you are not going to notice drastic changes in your skin. You know, um, I think a minimum of six to eight weeks is probably what you should be focusing on to start to see like the initial results and then you know after using something for maybe the entire bottle you should really know by the end of it whether you are seeing results or not but give it time any skincare that you're using give it some time also be sure to check out the Beautypedia. There is so much great information there. Sometimes when I'm bored at night, I will just sit there and like read through some of their different reviews. It's super, super informative. I've always enjoyed that um, and have found it a great resource for me personally. There are, there are some things that I don't necessarily, necessarily agree with personally because there are some products that they give bad reviews to that I've actually had really great results from. But in general, I do tend to agree with a lot of their reviews. So, however, you know, everything that you read, dig it with a grain of salt. Um, just do your research and try to do the best you can at picking out your skincare. So, anyway, those are my thoughts. Um, I see myself for purchasing this for sure. It's good stuff. I feel like the price point is fair, especially with the sales that they have quite frequently. So make sure you sign up for the Paula's Choice emails and um, th there are plentiful sales to be able to get this at a discount. So, all right. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.